All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, in today's video, I want to go over is networking dead, right? Um, I'm sure you guys have seen multiple videos, people talking about, oh yeah, networking. Don't do networking. Networking is dead, guys. Um, it's all in the cloud. It's all in the cloud. Oh, don't 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 use networking. Like, we don't need that. Um, I, and I'm sure you guys have seen many videos talking about it. Like, network engineering is a dying field. No one uses it. Uh, everything's gonna go to automation. AI is taking over. Um, Boohoo, like what, like you're, you're all going to be automated. You're all going to lose your jobs, all this clickbait. Right. And as you guys know, the, the internet is full of clickbait. The internet is full of clickbait. It's full of confirmation bias, whatever you want to believe, go to the internet. I'm sure there's a confirmation bias waiting for you. Right. Um, and, and to a certain extent, um, are, are they telling the truth? Maybe are they not? I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you what I see in the industry, what's growing, what's not. Um, networking has existed for quite a while, right? Ever since like telephones have existed, ever since um, the internet internet has existed, networking has been around for a long time, right? And as you know, networking is making sure the world is connected. The fact that we're having a, uh, the fact that I'm able to uh, record a video, post it on YouTube, you watch the video, be a be two thousand miles away from me and watch it in real time is is the power and the magic of networking. So. The, what we do, obviously, is we're working, like, there's data centers, and there's physical wires, and we maintain those wires, we update them, we troubleshoot them, um, you manage them, you fix issues if there's ever issues. So what makes networking dead, right? So the um, reason people are saying this is because, obviously, there's cloud, and cloud is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful piece of technology. Really what cloud is, is before cloud ever really existed, um, companies, like, if you had an office, you would have your own server that would host all your um, sort of data, all your storage, all the company properties, all there, right? And that in that little server. And now companies don't really need to do that because first of all, if it's a small company, there's no need for having on-prem because on-prem is just way too expensive to host. So people they do is like, okay, I'm gonna just rip up a cloud on AWS cloud server, put, have everything on the cloud, um, and all the data is also backed up and everything. It's all secure, but you're paying a monthly subscription fee to the provider, whether it's Google or Amazon uh, or Microsoft, really, those are the big three um, that will host your information, all your data that will help with, you know, whether it's a website or whatever, everything will be hosted there. That this is, this is how, this is pretty much where all the smaller companies are using because it's way, it's way cheaper in the beginning, right? Because buying all the equipment up front, that, that fixed cost of buying all those servers, all those routers, all those racks, all those, it's just a lot. It's, it's freaking expensive. So companies, what they do is they move it to the cloud. Obviously with networking, it's on-prem, right? And um, you're gonna need networking no matter what you do. And in fact, people who work in the cloud need to know networking. So I'm, I'm just confused. Like the network wasn't, just cause it moved from on-prem to the cloud doesn't mean you don't need networking because the networking is still done on the cloud, which you would just, you know, be a, be a cloud engineer almost, but you're really doing networking work. So it's like, I'm confused guys like what what makes it dead like the internet still exists the internet is getting better it's getting more efficient it's getting faster if anything we need more network engineers because obviously like now um people are streaming video at 4k there's 5g coming up there's cell towers like i'm very confused where people get this idea of networking if you guys do i want to create a discussion about this as well um and I, I know what people are going to say is like traditional networking in the traditional sense is dead, which I, I truly believe like with networking, it's, it's a, it's a bit of an old school field. Right. And obviously now like there's more automation involved and a lot of people were saying, Oh, automation is going to take your jobs, but automation is wonderful guys. Like I, I don't see what the issue, why, why people hate on automation because automation prevents human error, right. To a certain extent, because human error is really the main problems when it comes to networking if there's ever outages it's almost always either human error or maybe a layer one issue but human error is probably gonna, is mainly the main issue so using automation and networking is fantastic and i think automation really helps in terms of networking um so you, you saying that um networking is dead because automation is taking over i'm saying no they're just doing it differently than it was done before you don't have to go into this command line interface and run the commands anymore you can just do it all on software uh, which is good because obviously there's uh, a lot, especially with, with networking, there's some tasks that are just, it just it's, you're doing the same things over and over and over and over again. Um, to, so to save up on that monotony of doing the same task over again and you causing error, why not use software to just do it like that? It makes sense, right? So obviously networking, it's, but the thing with networking is 
it's a fundamental skill. Like you have to know what TCP, IP, uh, what routing is, what VLANs are, because that's still involved. Like it, it just didn't, that stuff just did not disappear, right? You know what I'm saying? Like people make it seem like it's disappearing, you know, but it's still a, it's still a field that's still strong. It's a field that still is going to exist for a, as long as the internet's going to exist, unless there's some sort of magical software that would dis destroy everything. But then again, we'd have, we'd have multiple problems by then. So networking, it's not dead in my honest opinion. In fact, I think it's as strong or stronger than it was uh, before because companies need them. Um, I th um, it's just, it's Elon Musk even posted a tweet that he's looking for network engineers. Obviously, like a lot of people are looking for network engineers. Like it's a, it's still a growing field. Um, because you're, it's a skill, it's a fundamental skill. Um, but obviously like cloud, the thing with networking is you learn networking, you can go to cloud, you can go, you can go to different other fields, right? Because it's a fundamental skill that you need. So like not learning networking doesn't make any sense, right? Cause it's like. For example, let's say you want to be a doctor, right? And you're being a doctor for heart surgery, or actually forget this, you're, you're being a dentist, right? You're being a dentist. And why through dental school, they teach you about the heart, they teach you about the lungs, they teach you about, why do they teach you about other aspects of biology aside from the teeth, right? They teach it because it's related. You still have to know those things, right? You still have to know those medical um, terminology because it's still related to your field to a certain extent. Maybe not uh, related in the day to day, but you still have to understand it. So you not learning networking because it's dead really doesn't make any sense. Like imagine saying, "Yeah, I don't need to learn." Like you're, you're imagine you're a dentist and say, "Hey, I don't need to learn about, um, I don't need to learn about diabetes because it has nothing to do with, with what I'm doing." Why not? Right? It's it, you have to understand. It. Otherwise, like you have to understand the full scope of things, right? And a lot of people just don't get that. So is networking dead? I would say networking is where it should be. It's still growing. Obviously, like um, things have changed. Like you have to learn new skills. That's the thing. With any field you guys get into, you have to learn new skills, no matter what field you get into. It doesn't matter, right? And the thing with people is they love to fear monger. They love to make things seem worse than it is, obviously, because for clickbait, right? People, people want to click on videos that are scary or videos that like surprise people. And that's the whole reason people do this. If you're not in the industry, you, you wouldn't know this kind of stuff. So network operations, network engineering still needed, right? It's still needed. Um, anyone who says otherwise, I don't know what they're saying because it's still a growing field. Um, there's a lot that goes involved in this field. It's a field that can help you in terms of your career because obviously you can go to many other fields aside from networking once you've graduated from this field or even stay in this field and get into higher levels of like um, becoming a principal engineer. So there's a lot of growth in this field um, and you can go many places. And obviously like networking at cloud are slowly getting closer and closer and closer together, which is totally fine, right? But it just shows that, you know, things are getting more efficient. Things are getting more cheaper. Things are getting more, um, things are getting done in a more efficient way, right? So, um, but, but when it comes to on-prem, a lot of companies are actually moving back to on-prem, actually, in fact, because cloud itself is expensive. You guys don't know, especially like if you're doing things at scale, like if you guys like you can, if you do the profit analysis and you can see the, if you like some finance bros would know this, but um, if you're, if your company's big enough, it's almost better. And you can see the growth potential. You're just better off just leasing an actual data center or working on-prem or just taking everything in house, right? It makes more sense. Like the reason why Amazon is actually a cloud provider. Why are these big companies are cloud providers? Because they've grown so, 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 so much. They have all this infrastructure. They're like, might as well just lease it to people, right? So they're leasing their infrastructure and they're like, hey, we can maintain it for them. We can do all this little application for them. And it created a business model for Amazon, right? And then it did it for Google. So all these big companies, that's their leverage is that they've built such big companies and they needed to build a huge on-prem facilities in different locations. They're like, damn, we've built so, so much. And we've built maybe too much that maybe people can lease it and they're like, okay, that's a great business model. And a lot of companies use it. So, cause it's a win-win for smaller companies and, uh, and it helps, um, like the big companies like Google and Amazon to cut down on their, um, to get more additional revenue. So the reason why the cloud really existed from having some, a big on-prem, so like, like I said, I'm going a bit of a tangent, but yeah, cloud and networking are so intertwined, so related. Um, they're eventually in my opinion, going to get closer and closer, but obviously on-prem will always exist to a certain extent because some companies are going to need it. So, uh, but yeah, that's cloud in a certain extent. Um, and that's networking. And I just, it's not a dead cert, but you do have to learn new skills. You do have to learn cloud. I did, I do, um, 
expect you guys, if you guys are want to become network engineers, have an understanding of AWS, have an understanding of, of how cloud works. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be, you don't want to be a person who just like focus on one field only. Um, obviously, that's the best. Like you want to be someone who's like uh, skilled in one field, but you still have to have an understanding of other fields, right? You want to know a little bit about, you want to know how to code, right? To a certain extent, how to use software, maybe even Python. Like just learn a little bit about Python, right? You want to go wide, right? But you want to have your expertise, but you still want to have some areas that you understand because eventually things are going to get closer and closer together where um, they're going to expect you to know um, a lot of different things. And, you know, the more that's just going to make you more valuable, you know? So ma have one skill, master that skill. Once you've gotten better at that skill and you've like sort of like hit the peak where you, you're better off just learning something else, use that time to learn something else, whether it's cloud, whether it's programming, and uh, then use that skill set to um, to your advantage, right? And uh, yeah, just you're, you're going to be a valuable person the more skills you learn, no matter what you do. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully this video has been affordable for you guys. If you guys like the video, give it a like. If you guys want to comment below and have a discussion about this, feel free. I would love to speak with all of you guys. Uh, comment below if you think it's dead. Comment below what you think it's going to happen in the future with networking. Uh, and we'll further discuss this as well. Um, but with that being said, everyone, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys uh, have a good day. So uh, peace.